what is up guys and force welcome to the week two of the mount moon battle association and this time we're going up against hannah panna yes so we have another real lucky roll here where we're actually facing another swedish player and you guys know hannah you know she is extremely tough to play against but my team is still on steroids so i hope that while she has a better matchup wise than i do that i at least can punish her by power alone and basically rely on that uh, I was really hoping that her team would be more weak to rocks that they simply aren't. Uh, I have a um, Scarfed, no not Scarfed, I have a um, Focus Sash Mammo, uh, Lumber Yasumi Reel for, well, taking a possible uh, Steamer option on switching. I uh, don't really need a filler move there. Uh, Tauros with Life Orb and Ice Beam, being naive to be able to do it, Kyo he powed on. Metagross with Grass Knot, actually Jollied, I don't necessarily need it to have the extra power on Grass Knot. Entei and Jellicent. Uh, and his bandit, if I remember correctly. And her team looks the part. Like, I was predicting a few other mons, but they did not make it. For one being the Yenshi. Um, so, not seeing Mega the Yenshi there was kind of good. But seeing Magneton, yeah, that was going to be a part of the team. And Siglip, yes, that one too. Aesil do outspeed the whole team here. Uh, so, I definitely expecting them. I'm glad I don't see her using Stoutland. And I knew Volcano was going to be a part of the team since it actually shuts down my Sumeril. So my only thought here was basically lead with Mamoswine and hope she leads with something that I can knock off. And uh, I really just need to kill Aesil for and I'll make sure that the other ones aren't scarfed to be able to possibly win the game with Metagross. So with all this said guys, let's go. So from the get go here, she's gonna lead off with Mian Shao. When I was so sure this thing is gonna be scarfed. So I need to go for knockoff. I really, really, really need to shut this thing down early. And she goes knock off. And uh, yeah, knocks off a sash, that's alright. I was feeling the high jump kick, but alright. Did not expect it to possibly stay in. Now, I do the knock off, and obviously, as you guys see, uh, she had life orb, which meant that shit, things are turning ugly from turn one. So I'm gonna go to Necromedusa, and she's going for U turn. And you know, at, at this moment, we're playing it really safe. Uh, I did the first big risk there, and didn't really pay off. Uh, she's now gonna go to Ruby. Knowing that I have Colorberry, I know that I can take a possible knockoff, which I'm glad she had. I do take it, but damn, did so much because of that crit. You can really tell it was Shadow Ball. Now, knowing that she's banded with that damage, I'm gonna go to um, my Sumeril, or just the Palm. And all I really need to, is to soak that knockoff, which I don't necessarily do. But knowing that very, it's very likely that Volcano will come in here, I'm just gonna go for the knockoff and gets rid of the Shuka. Now, a Scarf Volcano would destroy my team, so I'm glad it wasn't that. I'm glad it has Shuka Berry, because that means that we are a bit in the clear. So I'm gonna bring Therese Young, knowing that she's not gonna go for a Steamer option, which she went for. Now, luckily, she missed, and knowing that probably go for another Steamer option, I go to Necromedusa. Use it, man. I really didn't think she would use that, knowing that I have Water Absorb. By the way, she's gonna go to Happy Hippo, actually not wanna stay in for an Earthquake. Can I get that? And kind of regret that I didn't go for an Ice Beam. Now here's the thing, I could either go for a Scald or I can go for Recover. I went for the Recover because I needed this thing somewhat healthy because I don't necessarily take a Sludge Bomb or a Power from uh, the Canyon. And that's dangerous, I need to be, like I said, somewhat healthy and this is my only shot at it. Now, I'm gonna switch out to Erekut, hoping she goes for a Thunder move. She doesn't, she goes for the Flash Cannon and that's Erekut or Mammoth one out of the way. Nothing to it, I mean, it was a shot in the dark, it definitely didn't pay off. And uh, I'm just going to go to my Metagross. And I was thinking that if your opponent uh, has Magnapult that they are locked in with you, if you're an electric type, it doesn't really work like that, which was unfortunate. Uh, so I'm going to, of course, Mega Evolve here to my Mega Metagross, and I go for the Earthquake. I, I can't lie, I really thought you were locked in with me. Um, so I go for Ice Punch here, luckily I do get the Freeze. But had she gone for an heat wave, which she doesn't do, uh, she would have been able to fought through, which she doesn't do, probably went for Shadow Ball. Nonetheless, uh, I am very lucky here that she gets frozen and have my Metagross healthy, because that means that I can take an Earthquake from her Repowdon. Uh, so that exactly is what happens, and uh, I'm just gonna go for Engrass now here. I mean, I am in the clear. Uh, it Earthquake could do over 50% or roughly 100 damage uh, if it is a defensive one, um, which it is. 
like it is a defensive one luckily for me had it been max offensive it could have killed me but very unlikely she would brought that now here's the thing i was hoping she didn't switch in to magneton knowing that i could have earthquake so i went for grass not being a safer move and here's where i find out that she is still magnetful it just uh, is that uh, uh, she can switch out when that is active but if I simply his opponent can switch out, so that was my mistake, so I lose my Gross there. But it's alright, because I'm still in somewhat clear, because I have Entei and Tauros actually healthy. They can both deal with the remaining mods kind of well, I just need to play the sack game right. So anyway, uh, Epaudon does take that Rock Climb really well, but that doesn't necessarily matter, because he can't have speed and I have Ice Beam. I was not gonna risk, <laughs> I was not gonna risk another Rock Climb there. It was basically a shot in the dark there. Uh, I knew I had to do the neutral play. So anyway, she's gonna bring Ruby here again, and uh, I'm gonna play the sack game. Basically, at this point, uh, I have no necessarily mod that could take uh, a possible bad ends and headbutts. So I'm gonna bring just a poem, and uh, there is nothing I can do here. I could go for Aqua Jet Show, but knowing that Volcano is most likely mod to come in, I'm gonna bring Entei. She says in. I can't believe she says in. I mean, Aqua Jet does kill her. But she stays in, misses and headbutt sadly, so another big miss on this time, and she's gonna bring noodles, I'm just gonna lock myself into extreme speed, Um I really couldn't do much else there, had Magnacon come in, it would have been fair, but uh, I still would just sack the Sumeril. Now here comes the Donut King, knowing that she has to go for either a power or steam eruption, I'm just gonna go to Necromedusa, and luckily for me she does go for steam eruptions, we're just gonna take get some recovery back there. And uh, yeah, there is really nothing she can do. I can just lock myself into Shadow Ball and uh, get damage on something, and I'll get the damage on Magneton. Now, here's the thing not sure I can take a Thunderbolt because I am defensive, not specially defensive, which means I'm gonna sack Juice to Pump. If she goes for Thunderbolt, which of course Sable can do now the Mammoth one is out of the way, but uh, I really had no smarter play there. So I'm just gonna go to Entei. And uh, I'm actually over Sacred Fire. It is a bit risky and maybe even a bit stupid due to her having, of course, the Donut King. But I was thinking, she's not gonna risk that. She's not gonna do it. She does it. And that's actually kind of insane because since I am banded, I am now in a position where I have to switch out again. So I'm gonna go to Necromedusa. And luckily, I should say she goes for Sludge Bomb, which is the neutral play, obviously. Uh, but she won't get the poison at least for a few tries while I go for Shadow Ball. And I am in a golden position here because she can't switch out. Uh, any switch in here dies to Shadow Ball. Uh, both Magneton and Azel will fall. She, she has to stay in, banking on the Sludge Pump while I can try to get myself somewhat healthy. I need to be around 140 HP to survive a bad instant headbutt. So here comes the poison. I was like, ah oh, shit, no. I can't, I can't do that. And of course, Shadow Ball doesn't kill. That would have been an ideal time because I would actually been able to take, of course, that sun hit. But sadly, that doesn't happen. I need to recover stall here. And like I said, it is stalling in its finest because I don't have Toxic, but I'm probably to have enough HP to take on Azel. So anyway, this is as good as it gets. Um, if she goes to Azel, I have a small chance, a really, really small chance now. Of taking that hit, I do believe I stay somewhere around 130, uh, which means that when I cast 125, even I know that I cast that she had an eight of chance chance of KOing me. And since I don't have switch ins but this sent hit, but I'm going to stay in, and she gets the minimum roll, like the minimum roll, and uh, yeah, that's that that works out fine for us. And we're gonna knock out Azel. She's only gonna have Magneton left, and I have Tauros and Tay left. And both of them being extremely healthy due to the misses that has been in this game. And, uh, well, there is nothing to it. I can bring Entei. Basically showing her that I had Bulldoze. I had ways of locking myself into. But I didn't want to go for Bulldoze later in game because, or early in game. Because she had, of course, that Aesol, which, of course, is levitating. So anyway, that's a 2-0 victory in our favor. And it was a very, very hexa game. And I do believe Hannah played a very nice game, really. So yeah, you know, what else can I say? I, I tried to like look back at this game. Uh, for me, obviously, I think I had a very, very big kind of sweep of potential uh, uh, chance there where, of course, if I should have gone for an Earthquake with Metagross against her um, Hippowdon, our Earthquake would not, would not have killed Hippowdon, so 
I think she did a safe call. I should definitely play it a bit more unsafe, mostly because I think it would have paid off. And Metagross was not necessarily a winning condition. Now Metagross would have been able to sweep through her team, knowing that she had no scar for outside of Magneton. And uh, yeah, I kind of feel that had I Earthquake on that, it, it would have been in the bag basically. It, she would have no mod, it would have outspeeded it, and it would basically be GG. It would have been an extreme 6 0 from that position. So, a bit unfortunate, but at the same time, like I said, they're a 5 0 actually. Um, at the same time, we do get on top, and those two misses she had definitely, um, definitely made a lot of um, her course way around because I would have been forced to play a bit more differently uh, had she actually got a steamer up from Tauros from there from that turn. Even though she would have switched to Powdown, I would still have a less effective Tauros, even a burnt one if I were unlucky. Now the send headbutt on Azel necessarily didn't matter. But um, it still is one of those things, like I feel that she missed a lot of hits that are quite safe to use, so she was definitely unlucky in this match. And um, I mean, with a powerful team such as I do, it's it's definitely not okay. I felt that I got a big advantage over her by chance alone, and that's not okay. Um, but yeah, outside of that, I think Hannah plays the game really well, and uh, she might as well have won this one, actually. Uh, it's definitely up there. I think she played a smarter game than I did. Uh, but yeah, with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. We're now 2-0 in this uh, league, which is actually kind of nice. Um, I think this is the first time actually our 2-0 in any league ever. So yeah, this uh, this looks promising. If, if I keep being this lucky, it might actually be able to win this one. Who knows? Uh, so thank you for watching. And well, I see you obviously in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.